write a program to count the digits of a number. This one we actually implemented in almost all the programs. Still, anyways, let's do it once more. So when we have a number 345, in order to count the digits, basically we need to split the digits. For this, we'll be using two functions. One is the modulus n modulus 10 will give the last digit and n divided by 10 will give the remaining digits. So in order to count, we'll be basically using a while loop. The first step is to get the last digit which is equal to n percentile 10. As we get the last digit, we just increase the count by 1, then update the number, remove the last digit from the number. So n is equal to n divided by 10. So this loop has to go on till n becomes 0. So n not equal to 0 is the condition. After this, simply print the count that should end the program. Program to count the digits. For this, we will be needing some variables like last digit. Then we need a counter to count. Let's initialize it to 0. Uh, I think that should be fine. For this, we'll use the while loop. First is getting the last digit, which is basically the number percentile 10. Now, as we get the last digit, you just increment the counter because we know that there's one digit. After this, just update the number, remove the last digit by dividing with, with 10. And here, the loop has to terminate when this becomes 0. So as long as it's not 0, we just keep on iterating. And then we'll be printing the number has XYZ digits. Okay, I think this should work. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's compiled. Yeah, 8 is available. So let's execute this. Let me give it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has values. Let's try one more. 9, 8, 7. 3 digits. Yes, working perfect. Sometimes they may ask you to do the summation of the digits. So let's do an extension for this. Let me take another variable called sum. It's very simple to do the summation because here we are getting the last digit. I just need to keep on adding that last digit to the sum. So by the end of this loop, this sum will hold the summation of the digits. So let me print this. The number has so into digits and sum is percentage d. So here let's put a sum. Okay, I think this should work. Let's try. Let's give one, two, three. So three digits and sum should be six. Absolutely working. I hope you are able to pick up the concept of counting the digits and summation of the digits.